Hey everybody, Steve here, and welcome to another video on the Radio Master TX 16S. Just in case you didn't know, I've got like, I don't know, 15 plus videos on this uh, radio alone. Just check the description below for a list of everything that you could possibly want to know about this radio, particularly as it pertains to multi-rotors. I don't fly planes, but if you're a plane guy, check it out anyway. There might be some stuff in there that can help you. All right, so today we're going to do the big upgrade to 2.3.10. Let's go to OpenTX. All right, I'm going to go fast here, and if you're confused, check the description because I do this much, much slower in my how to do this video. Without further ado, let's get to the getting here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go POW on 2310. By the way, I'm at open-tx.org. And here we are. Here we are, 2310. And you can see 2310 looks like a pretty decent update. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. You can read through all this. I'm not going to read a, a list to you. But let's just get this thing done. And let's see what we got. We got, we got download links. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab the SD card. If you've got 239, you still got to grab the uh, SD, SD card contents. And all right, make sure you grab the right one. Here is the OpenTX TX16S. Make sure you grab the right one. Well, for your radio. Pretty exciting. All right, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to shut the film off. All right, so I got my SD card. I just went ahead and sped up the camera so that you wouldn't have to sit there for all of that because it took about three or four minutes. Going back here, going back here, and now I'm gonna grab 2310 on the Windows installer because that's what I have, Windows. And say file. And it's gonna pop her in the downloads folder. Go like that. And we be ready. 2310, let's go ahead and fire it up. Thank you, Windows, for your concern, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it anyway and say yes and say I agree and say next 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 yeah let's do this penis all right here we go here we go pretty exciting stuff here we go a new version do I want to download it well hey thank you for being so kind yeah let's yeah, let's definitely do that geez made it pretty darn easy I just added 2310 to the file name so that I could differentiate and I'm gonna go ahead and sit, hit that and then pa pow here I am all right so now the next logical step is to write the firmware to the radio but don't do that all right so you don't just want to go willy-nilly doing all that kind of stuff we're gonna take t4 and t1 we're gonna smash them together we're gonna to give this baby some power and all right let's not get confused by this it says write firmware do not do not do that that is not what we want to do at this point what we want to do at this point is we want flip this baby up all right what we want to do is we want to plug in our USB that's what we want to do and we'll go back here and you can see it says it says USB connected all right that's what we want now we're gonna get our couple windows that are gonna pop up here and we are going to ignore this one completely where's the other one here's our guy right here now that the guys plugged in that's what you're looking for all right that's what you're looking for but let's go ahead and get rid of this window right here and let's go ahead and pull up open TX so repeat after me, raise your right hand, repeat after me. Absolutely under no circumstances will I flash new firmware to my radio without backing up all my models. Go ahead, say it out loud. So now that we've got our guy plugged in, we're going to rewrite and we are going to read model settings from the radio. And there are, uh, there's the new radio and you can see this says document uh, one. I'm going to go ahead and say save as, I'm calling it the pre-2310 backup and I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right. Boom. Now I got my models. Das gut, got the models. Now come over to uh, Mr. Right Firmware to Radio and click on him. Okay, so I've done a lot to this radio. That's why mine says Lua No Heli. Yours may or may not, depending whether you follow my series or not, uh, say No Heli. Yours just might say TX16S.bin or whatever. 
Just make sure it's the one that you just downloaded. That's, that's what we're talking about here. And I'm going to go ahead and say right to TX. And it's writing to the TX. It's very, very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Oh my God, it says not responding, but don't worry. It kind of, I think it always says that. I think it's, and look, it's the flashing. It's done. It's that simple. All right, so it dust simple. All right, so I'm going to hit close here. I'm going to fire back up the radio. There's our USB connected. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it like that. Do not select write firmware here. Okay, it's confusing. I am not going to write that firmware. I'm going to hit exit like so. My calculations are correct. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. Yeah, I see some serious shit. Trouble warning. All right, look at that. Warning. All right, so here we are. It's a little bit angry with me because I haven't done the SD card yet. So let me go ahead and press any key and still got some work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and shut her off. All right. So let's pop these guys together again and go ahead and hit that guy right there like so. All right. And now we're going to go back into USB mode. So let's flip her up, pop her in, put her down. We're going to get our two little windows that are going to pop up here. There's one, All right, there's one, and the other one's there, it's just tired. There it is right there. I still have to do my SD stuff, but while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to downloads. There's my folder where I download stuff, okay? And then there is this one right here. What I wanna do is I'm gonna bring this guy up and this latest firmware, all right? The one with the uh, EN 2310, all right? I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna drag him into firmware on the um on the SD card and I'm gonna pop him right there and there he is okay all right so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to unplug mr. USB and I'm gonna get this menu right here and I'm gonna go to exit and I'm gonna click on it Welcome to open TX. Throttle warning. all right so I'm pop pop throttle down all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to long press on sys and I'm going to page over to get to the card and I'm going to come down to firmware and select it and check it out. There's the 2310. I want to go ahead and select the 2310 and I'm going to flash the bootloader. And just like that, we should be good. And if you want to know if you're good or not, go ahead and power her down. Pop these guys two together. Long press, poop it on, poop it, <laughs> pop it back on, and you will notice that the bootloader is 2310 and the OpenTX is 2310. So go ahead and hit exit, pop out of there. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. All right, so the last step to this process is to go ahead and grab all those SD card contents. Uh, if I go back to where I get my downloads, uh, I've got this one right here, but notice that one's from a month and a half ago. I don't want that one. I want version 34. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to extract all. I'm going to say extract. It's going to take a couple minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the contents from this 2.3 version 34, all like that, and I'm going to drag and drop them onto the root directory of the USB drive. All right, so that took a good five minutes, so I paused it to spare you, and now we are at a point where we can, hopefully, we can just pop back over here and unplug and exit. Note the 2.3.10 and the 2.3.10. And if we did everything right, we should go exit, get our warnings. Welcome to All right, and now hopefully we don't get an SD card warning. And we didn't, we're good to go. That is how you know it was successful. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of the changes. Uh, they're all listed right here on the OpenTX website. Uh, there's a couple cosmetic changes, but it uh, looks like uh, the vast majority of this list is performance related. And uh, you can come here and check all this stuff out. 
All right, so if this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, I really appreciate you watching, but also wanted to call your attention to my Radio Master TX-16S Beginner's How-To Series, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 videos, I think 15 as it relates just to the radio itself. Uh, please check the description below for a link to the playlist. Pretty much anything and everything you'd need to know to get you up and running and more on this TX-16S or any other modern day open TX radio. Uh, there's some fun stuff in there as well. And if you've got a Tiny Hawk, there's even more stuff. Most of my stuff pertains to multi-rotors, but if you are a fixed wing flyer, check it out anyway. The focus is on OpenTX, and there's probably some stuff that will assist you as well. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. I'm Steve. I'm closing down on this video right here. Please do me a favor. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And if you really like the video, hit that bell so you get notifications of future videos that come out. People are always asking, how can they give back? And uh, the number one thing that you can do to help me is spread the word, share on social media, let other people know I'm making videos, help other people out. And remember, Get somebody into the hobby, because I'm going to tell you right now that as fun as flying is, it's way more fun when you fly with a buddy. So, I'm Steve, cutting out. I'll see you in the next video.